Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In today's video, we have one challenging question from algebraic equations and expressions. Here we are going to evaluate the square root x power 9 over 1 plus x power 9. Let us call this expression E. And equation known is x cube over 1 plus x power 6 equal to 1 over 52. So from the given expression and equation, we can conclude one condition on x, x should be positive. Now I will begin with considering reciprocal of the known equation. So I will write 1 plus x power 6 flipping of numerator and denominator over x cube equal to 52. Now I will split numerator. So I can write 1 over x cube plus x power 6 over x cube. So x cube equal to 52 or I can write x cube plus 1 over x cube equal to 52. This equation is known. Now I will use substitution. Let x plus 1 over x equal to y. Now I will write x plus 1 over x equal to y and I will consider cubing both sides. So whole cube, whole cube. Let's apply the formula a plus b whole cube, a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. So x cube plus 1 over x cube plus 3ab a is x, b is 1 over x, a plus b x plus 1 over x equal to y cube. Done. Now x cube plus 1 over x cube. It is 52. So here we can write 52 plus this will be cancelled out 3 times x plus 1 over x our substitution y. So 3y equal to y cube. Take all the term to RHS. So equation will become y cube minus 3y minus 52 equal to 0. y cube minus 3y minus 52 equal to 0. Now I will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. Let's find out the eligible factors of 52. So it is plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 plus minus 13 plus minus 26 plus minus 52 and if I will write the eligible factors of leading coefficient it is 1 so plus minus 1. Now we have to take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient for our base solution. So let me consider here the straight away value y equal to 1 will it satisfy 1 minus 3 minus 52. No, it is not. If I will plug in y equal to 2, so 8 minus 6 minus 52. No, it is not. Let me write y equal to 4. So 4 cube is 64. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 52. Yes, this is satisfying our equation. So y equal to 4 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. Let me write all the coefficients of this cubic equation. Coefficient of y cube 1. Coefficient of y square it is not there so 0. Coefficient of y minus 3. Constant term of coefficient it is minus 52. Put one line over there 1 leading coefficient as it is 1 times 4 4. 0 plus 4 4. 4 times 4, 16. 16 minus 3, 13. 4 times 13 is 52. So this will be 0. Now here we have coefficients for quadratic equation in y. So y square plus 4y plus 13 equal to 0. Remember our base solution is y equal to 4. This we will use little later. Let's solve this quadratic equation first. y square plus 4y plus 13 equal to 
जीरो वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर वाई प्लस थर्टीन इक्वल टू जीरो लेट मी चेक ओनली डिस्क्रिमिनेंट डेल्टा बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी सो बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर टाइम्स ए टाइम्स सी ओके बी स्क्वायर इज फोर स्क्वायर माइनस फोर टाइम्स ए इज वन सी इज थर्टीन सो डिस्क्रिमिनेंट डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन माइनस फिफ्टी टू विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी सिक्स सिंस इट इज नेगेटिव इट विल जनरेट कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्यूशन सो वी कॉन्ट एक्सेप्ट एज वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द रियल सोल्यूशन सो आई विल राइट हेयर रिजेक्टेड Now our base solution is accepted. It was y equal to four. Now y was our substitution x plus one over x equal to four. Now I will add two to both sides. So x plus one over x plus two, and right hand side four plus two. Can we write this as root x whole square? Plus one over root x whole square plus two times root x times one over root x and right hand side is six so a square plus b square plus two times a b so it is formula for a plus b whole square where a is root x and b is one over root x whole square. Equal to six. Let me write here. Root x plus one over root x whole square equal to six. Consider square root both sides. So root x plus one over root x. This will be equal to plus and minus root six. As our condition x was positive. Once x is positive, LHS will be positive always. So RHS cannot be negative. So we will reject this value negative, rejected. So let me write here the accepted solution: root x over one over root x. It must be equal to root six only. Now our target is to evaluate this expression. so let me consider cubing of this equation so i can write a plus b whole cube formula let us consider cubing both sides so i will write power 3 power 3 a cube so i will write root x whole cube b cube 1 over root x whole cube plus 3 ab 3 times root x times 1 over root x A plus b, root x plus one over root x, and right hand side will be root six times root six times root six. Okay, we can cancel these two first. Now we know the property of exponents. It is a power b whole power c. Any time we can swap the powers. A power c. Whole power b, so I can write this root x whole cube as root x cube. Here I will be writing one over root x cube plus this value is root six, so three times root six, three root six, and right hand side this product will be six six root six. so from here conclusion is the square root x cube plus 1 over root x cube plus 3 root 6 is equal to 6 root 6 so we can write from here the square root x cube plus 1 over the square root x cube will be equal to 6 minus 3 3 root 6 now you can see our target expression it is here again i will consider cubing both sides 
as we are looking for power 9. So let me write here power 3 both sides. Now again we will apply the same formula a plus b whole cube. Okay. So straight away I will be writing this time root x power 9. This will be a cube. b cube it will be root x power 9 plus 3 times a b root x cube times 1 over root x cube in bracket now a plus b which will be let me write once root x cube plus 1 over root x cube right hand side will be 3 cube and root 6 cube now here i will be writing 3 root 6 from this equation and these two roots will be cancelled out so i can write root x power 9 plus 1 over root x power 9 plus 3 times 3 root 6 equal to this will become 27 times 6 root 6. Now I can write root x power 9 plus 1 over root x power 9 equal to 27 times 6. This value will be 162 root 6. And this will be 20, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 root 6. So ultimate value is 153 root 6. Let me write here root x power 9 plus 1 over root x power 9 equal to 153 root 6. Let's take LCM. So I can write from here root x power 9 times root x power 9 plus 1 divided by root x power 9. RHS is 153 root 6. So it is giving us x power 9 plus 1 over root x power 9. It is equal to 153 root 6. But our expression is reciprocal of that. So I will write expression E equal to flip this. So I will write root x power 9 divided by 1 plus x power 9 it will be equal to 1 over 153 root 6. So we can write this is our answer or we can rationalize our denominator. So I can write root 6 and root 6 multiply we can do here. So it will become root 6 in the numerator and denominator will be 153 times 6. So we can write our final answer root 6 divided by 918. This is our ultimate answer. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.